get you some. Oh, yeah. Mate, it's lucky she can cook. Wow. G'day lovelies, welcome back. Long time no hear. Well, I've been out of action the last week with a massive toothache from hell. I got into the dentist the day before yesterday and got it pulled out. It was a really big tooth. My mouth is still right up and it's so sore and I'm absolutely starving. So I was going to make myself some fried milk bread. And then I thought, well, hang on a minute. There's probably heaps of people that get their teeth out and try and work out what's something easy you can make that's quick, that's really easy to eat when you've got a hole in the side of your mouth. So one of the things I love to make is the fried milk bread. It's similar to French toast, the only real difference is there's more milk to egg, so it's really easy to eat and it's a sweet thing. So into a bowl we want one egg, whisk it with the fork, add three quarters of a cup of milk, whisk that in, add a dash of vanilla extract, mix that through. Okay, now to put on top, you can either drizzle a little bit of honey, a little bit of golden syrup, or a little bit of maple syrup. So today I'm going to use the maple syrup. Frying pan, medium heat, a little bit of butter or marge. Now you can use stale bread or fresh bread, it doesn't matter. So what we want to do is we want to dip it in, enough to coat it, but we don't want to leave it there too long. Grab the fork and then your thumb between them, flip it over and do it again, all right? Not too quick, um, not too slow, otherwise the bread will just break apart. Drip off the excess and whack it on there. Now, if you've got, say, continental slice or the crusty loaf or something like that that's really hard, when you're doing that, just soak it for a lot longer because it won't break apart very easy. And if you do that, nine times out of 10, the crustiness will go really, really soft for you. So you just want to fry them up until they're beautiful golden brown on both sides. Now there's enough mixture to make three up. So either you can just have them singly, spread a little bit of whatever you're going to put on there. Golden syrup is absolutely beautiful too. And just do it singly, spread a little bit on and then cut it up nice and small and you can just munch away. Or you can just layer them up. Beautiful, soft, yummy and filling. Well, there you have it, lovelies. Fried milk bread. Oh, I love it when it all puffs up like that. And oh, my, my. <laughs> So I've decided for the rest of the year I'm going to smash out requests, starting with the earliest ones I've got. I've chosen to go with the bread and butter puddings first. I call them bread and butter custards. And I'm going to make my Nana's traditional one first. Ironically, Nana used to make them any time any of my aunties or uncles or us in the end would get our teeth out. So I will catch you all on Monday night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves an awesome weekend. I'll see you then. Toodles!